Hey finders and welcome back to Fortune Finds. I am keeping the spirit of competition alive here on my channel and we are doing another this versus that video. I'm comparing the ever so amazingly affordable Ardell Glam Touring Contour and Highlighting Stick which retails at a whopping $13 to the higher end Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand which retails for 38. I am a glam touring Ardell loving contour stick lover. Like I love this. This is like my love, my OG. This is like my man, you know? Whereas this one's kind of like my fling at the moment. This is the Hollywood contour wand, more expensive, luxurious, has a really nice applicator. I mean, this has a really bomb applicator. I love this applicator. It hugs my curves whereas this one i've kept it to a nice point so it does do a really good job of hugging there's something luxurious about this like i mean look this looks this looks expensive you know and this is just really really nice whereas i love this one easy friendly affordable blends like a dream you guys know the deal so i'm putting these two to the test and i'm pretty sure whoever wins this contest is going to be the cream contour that i wear on my face the day of my wedding so before we get into it i'm so excited to get into it i've been dying to put these two to the test i'm dying to know if my hollywood contour wand is better than my ardell because i have a feeling that it's gonna be and i and i cannot lie i'm a little let, let down and upset about just the thought of it so before we get into it just a quick and friendly reminder if you you're not yet subscribed go ahead click subscribe and also click that bell button next to subscribe this way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a new video here on my channel I'm uploading more in 2020 I have been filming like a fanatic so there are a lot of videos that are coming at you and if you want to know every time one goes up on my channel then be sure to subscribe and click the bell so without further ado let's stop babbling and let's get on to my contour contest who will win this battle video it's me. I'm looking very flat and I need some contour. So I've literally done the rest of my makeup. I just need to finish off the eyes. But before I do that, let's 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 get into this contour contest because I'm looking a little like Wednesday Adams. I look pale and flat and I, I need some dimension. I need some warmth. I need some color. So I'm gonna do one side of my face using the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood contour wand. And I'm scared because this is like my longtime lover and this is like my new fling. So my longtime lover, I love you. I love you so much. I'll go ahead and show you them side by side. This is definitely darker. This is like more of a brown. This is like a beigey brown. I'm really like hoping that, that Ardell pulls through for me and wins this. You're the OG. You a gangsta. You've been here like a minute. So you should have the first go around. So I'm gonna take this, I'm just gonna contour it like I would normally contour. Charlotte. Looks way darker on the skin, you know? I love this for the nose because I feel like it really hugs the angle that I need. Oh God, okay, so Charlotte, darker than Ardell. We're gonna look all types of crazy, but the point of this video is just to figure out which one I like the best. So I'm gonna go in with my Hollywood first and blend that out using a sponge, simply because I feel like Hollywood dries down a little bit faster. Charlotte Tilbury is Hollywood in case you didn't get the memo. So I'm gonna take my beauty sponge. It is damp, but I'm gonna add a little bit more moisture to it and I'm just gonna stamp this out. I mean, it blends out beautifully, but I feel like we already knew this. Like I already discovered this the first time that I used it. It just, it blends out so beautifully and a little really does go a very, very long way. Just drag the skinny part up and down my nose. I feel like that kind of took my foundation away though, underneath. So I'm just gonna take the butt of it Mm -hmm. I don't love how that blends it out on my nose. Okay, let's move on to my Ardell side. And again, this always blends out wonderfully, beautifully, like creamy. It's so creamy, this product. Uh, 
honestly, the Ardell blends out a lot faster. And this one moves around a lot. And I have to say, I feel like it kind of pulled at my foundation a little bit. Whereas this one, it definitely didn't. Everything is still in place. Yeah, I like how that blends it out better than the other one. You can just like really tell where the contour is on this side. It really does give a dark shadow. Whereas this one is more like subtle, natural. Do you know what I'm saying? If that looks makeup-y, this looks more natural and like a part of my skin. I just want to clean up this contour down here. I'm going in with my Blendiful, my baby Blendiful from Tachi Beauty. On the nose. I feel like that Charlotte one kind of went a little everywhere, so I want to clean it up a little bit. That's the point of me baking around the contours to just clean up that line and make it a little harsher. And then the Charlotte went a little everywhere in here, so I want to clean up where I don't want that contour. So I'm just going to press some translucent powder in the center of my face. While that's sitting, let's go ahead and put on some blush. I definitely want to see how blush interacts with Ardell and Charlotte. Let's do my Jouer one. So I'm gonna take what's ever left of this and just put it where I'm gonna apply this Jouer because this lays down nicer over translucent setting powder. This one right here, the pinkier one. This is such a pretty blush. I love this blush. And now I'm just gonna dust off the bake. And just blend that out. I feel like this side is more textured than this side. Ardell, 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 what are you doing? I feel like the Ardell one kind of sucked up the powder. Charlotte didn't stick to it as much. So let's go ahead and let's put some setting spray on. Help that powder become more one with the skin. Hopefully get rid of some of that texture and I'm gonna hop into some highlight because why not? I'm using the space case seen from space in 1B. Take some on my finger. I'm gonna give you my final thoughts. I've landed in a place that I myself have accepted and that being that the winner of this contour contest is the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand. As painful as it is, like I don't know why I'm so upset that this beat my Ardell. I just think that this side of my face looks smoother, collected, expensive, luxurious. It's just like a gradient, like even contour. Whereas my Ardell side is a little patchier, is a little bit starker, isn't really blended out as amazingly as my contour wand. Like this is just a cheek. Like this is a cheek I aspire to be, I aspire to have. I just feel like the formula's thinner. It blends out more evenly. It's not pilly. It doesn't bunch up. It doesn't grab onto my powders. And I just think that the color is better. This one is a little thicker. It's a little bit more grabby. It grabs onto the powder. The highlighter didn't lay as nicely and evenly and like softly as on the Hollywood contour wand side. However, I'm just gonna say that even though this one won and that I have dubbed this the winner, guys, this is still a winner. Like if you are someone who wants a really nice creamy contour. It blends out in a second. You can blend it out with a brush. You can blend it out with a damp sponge. It doesn't matter. It just blends so easily. I would highly recommend this. I am by no means going to like push this one aside and say, no, you are not good enough because you didn't win the contour contest. You are good enough. Don't let anyone ever tell you you are not good enough. I will continue to love you until the end of time. That being said, I don't think I will wear you down the aisle. I think I'm gonna wear you down the aisle. I'm not sure, I'm just not so sure yet. You never know. I really wanna try the RCMA, their creams, because I've heard wonderful things about them and I feel like they just might be the next best like contour item. So I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then let me know by leaving it a thumbs up. Leave me some love in the comments. Which side of my face do you think looks better? And if you disagree with me, 
let me know. I want to talk about it. I want to discuss it. I'm not here to fight. We all have different preferences in makeup. What's your preference? I would love to know. Leave a comment. Let a girl know. Subscribe if you haven't. Click the bell button if you haven't. I had a wonderful time as always. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next one. Bye finders. Mwah.